Well, good evening, everybody. I am at the gate for Baker Butte. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. I uh, drove up to the uh, Rim Country in order to activate a summit tonight and then uh, spend the night up here and do the uh, Transatlantic uh, Summit to Summit event tomorrow. But surprise, surprise, we have a lot of snow. So I'm gonna get Baker Butte activated in the snow here. And then uh, we'll have to drive on up and see how uh, if we can get access to Rim Road Peak where it's uh, I was intending to, to activate from. So when I get up on top, I am going to show you a homebrew Morse code paddle that I created. And actually I will insert a little bit about that before I activate so that you can see kind of what I did to make it. So a fellow Summits on the Air colleague of mine, Tim Keen, uh, K5DEZ, suggested that I build my own Morris code paddle. And he actually even sent me all the components to this schematic right here. And he drew this schematic for me. So as you can see, it requires a, a stereo jack and it requires a couple of uh, one mega ohm resistors, a couple of uh, transistors, either the BS 170s or the 2N7000s, and then the sensors and uh, cover or housing. He, he sent me everything but the uh, the housing pieces and the uh, battery enclosure, which I'll mention here in just a second. So, but what I did is I used a portion of an old Radio Shack um, PCB board to solder all the transistors, resistors, sensors, and stereo jack together. And so I, this is one that I had started and didn't finish, this transistor and the, uh, and the uh, mega, one mega ohm resistor. I ordered this plastic enclosure from a website as well as the wafer battery holder here for the three volt wafer battery. So I put the circuit, this uh, the parts that I had soldered and this wafer battery all connected together uh, in this enclosure. And Tim said that as he experimented with this circuit, the higher voltages were more sensitive, but uh, you'll see from the activation that I do that there was some slight issues with this paddle uh, sending unwanted dits. So it's, it was really sensitive as is. I'm going to continue to experiment with this, and I suspect uh, that the cold may have had something to do with it, the cold temperatures, but we'll see. So I, I, this is something that Tim didn't have in his schematic, but I just have a, a switch here with the battery, and so I'm going to turn this on and put this in here, and then I just put this cap on, and this is what it looks like. Uh, one thing I'll mention is the advantage to this paddle is that it uh, doesn't have any moving parts. And so you don't have to worry about it getting dirty or, or other maintenance because it's, it's not mechanical. Uh, Tim borrowed uh, or modified the, uh, some of the ideas from this uh, February 2019 article in QST, a force sensing CW paddle. And he just modified it or simplified it to, uh, to meet our needs. So, but when I get up there and, and uh, start activating, I'll be using that paddle and I'll talk to you a little bit about it then as well. So let's get going. like people were using this road to sled on. A little snowman. This is really early for having snow. It's November 4th today. And so, shouldn't be snow here like there is. It'll probably all melt, but we'll make the most of it. Okay, we're nearing the top here. Here's the lookout tower. It's usually manned, but not now, not this time of day of uh, year. There's a little cabin uh, up in here too.
just get cleaned up. Woo, it's cold. Good night. Yeah. I will say uh, that this uh, paddle is hit and miss. Sometimes it, uh, it's, uh, it, it, I get a lot of dits and I shouldn't, but anyway, man, it's cold. The sun's going down. I need to get my camping spot set up, so I am gonna call it good. Thanks, everybody. All right, everybody. We are heading back down the mountain. I am freezing. It's cold, it's just dropping. The temperature's dropping real quick. We still gotta find camp for tomorrow for the uh, Transatlantic summit, summit event, so. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But uh, heading down, thank you for joining uh, this video and uh, for visiting my channel. Hope to come on back and uh, check out more videos. Thanks for your support and I'll say 73 everybody, bye bye.